Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new video. And it looks like Llama Rama is back this December and you can now earn some free rewards inside of Fortnite once again. Here's a picture of all the free rewards you're gonna be able to gain, which is pretty awesome. It's a total of five different rewards and these are all entirely free for you to grab. And you've gotta do this before the 27th of December. So make sure you're jumping in and I'll explain exactly how you can get access to these right now. If you are new, don't forget to tap that subscribe as always. We're trying to get to 700,000 by the end of chapter three. I think it is possible, maybe. Maybe not, but yeah, tap subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone supporting. And don't forget to use code POST in your item shop. Now, how exactly do you earn these rewards inside of Rocket League? Well, it's actually not the normal Rocket League. It's the new mobile game called Sideswipe. And there's gonna be a total of five different rewards. And this is available on iOS, Android, and Samsung. So you can do it on all mobile platforms. As long as you've got a mobile device or a tablet, you should be set to go. Now, how exactly do you gain these free rewards? Well, it's not too difficult at all. There are five different ways of doing this and five different rewards which you can gain inside of the world. I'll play some gameplay in the background here while I go over the rewards. You can see here, the first one is play five online matches in any playlist. This will reward you the up and coming banner featuring chapter two, season six's clock. It's kind of an old one, but kind of cool. Also play 10 online matches will also earn you a Octane Cruiser Bat Bling, that's pretty cool. Also score 30 goals in online matches will earn you the Rocket League GG Spray, which is kind of neat. And even winning 10 online matches in any playlist will earn you the Renegade Blaze Contrail, so not too difficult. 10 matches will probably take a little bit of time to play, but after a little bit of time, you can probably do that quite well and get through it nicely. And then finally, earn MVP in uh, online matches, which is the most valuable player. So it's like save a lot of goals, score a lot of goals, stuff like that. And if you do that, you will be set to go. And you can also log in with your Epic Games when you do sign into the app. I think that's the most important thing to do. As long as you link your Epic Games, you should be set to go. Here's my tips for completing the challenges as fast as possible. So first, link your Epic Games. Head over to your challenges on the menu and you'll actually see your Llama Rama challenges. You can see what you need to do to complete them up here. Not too difficult. The most difficult one is the free MVPs. That is probably the most difficult one because you've got to do that in a duo mode. That was the more difficult one on the actual Rocket League, not the mobile version, but we're now on this and I'm going to show you guys how you can do this here. So when you're on here, you got dual doubles and hoops. These are the two modes you want to go on for MVP. I'd probably do these first, but if you want to score a lot of goals and win games fast, the solo 1v1 would probably be the quickest method. So I jumped straight into a 1v1 and here's just some tips from me. First, you don't really want to score own goals like that. You want to try and keep the ball on the enemy's side. This is my first game on, so I had a really bad start with that own goal, but I was really much set to go. So I hit this ball here, hit it up like that and nice little ball in and that was a bad play but you've just got to get used to the bouncing and used to the bounce and all you got to do is score like three goals get like three ahead of the enemy and usually they'll just leave the game and it's like it's just free wins you know what i mean score three goals and you get easy wins and usually they leave if not you can actually rack up your goals to that target of uh, 30 goals which would be nice and easy so i'm just waiting for the ball to get a nice position get a nice little air shot on it always just play up in the air a lot of players they don't play up in the air and this is a lot easier than the actual rocket league in the air in this on rocket league i always struggle to hit a lot of air shots but on this i found it a lot easier to do so as long as you just keep hitting the jump button and keep jumping up in the air you're pretty much set and you can always get some good shots in just like that nice little swoops up and get a little comeback like that so I'm on a 1-1, nicely done. And this is where you can just really take the lead. Now, once you get the hang of the controls, this is my first game on. And, you know, I'm not even a pro at Rocket League and I've already got the hang of the controls dead easy. I'm hitting shots straight off the spawn. He doesn't know how to save them. This may be his, like, 10th game or something. He has got a few cosmetics. So I assume this person I'm playing against has played quite a bit. But this is my first game on and we're doing a pretty good job, to be honest, against this geezer. Nice another shot in his net. He had no idea how to save that either. And you can just keep getting that first ball. A lot of the first games you'll be put in will be like newer players. So you're really going to rack up your wins dead easy. And, you know, I'm just doing a really good job of it here. And just a really good example just for someone that doesn't even play Rocket League and just how to get goals dead easy. And you can just do that and get this done as quick as possible. You don't want it to feel like a chore. So if you're starting to kind of like grind this too much, maybe just take a break from it and come back to it another day you do have all the way until that 27th of december so maybe it's something you could do on like christmas eve or the day before christmas eve you know when you're kind of excited ready for christmas something to pass the time this may be something you could save for then uh, for them if you uh, if you want to for then i don't know it's up to you if you want to do that or not but yeah that's my little win and that's really how i kind of are going to grind these out i'm also going to take my time with it i'm not going to rush it too much but it's not too difficult. We got until the 27th, so I'll probably play it in the morning or in the evening a few times and just rack up a few goals. It's actually really fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to use code POST in your item shop. And this is Postbox Pat, signing out.